Okay, so again, you're going to start relax. I'm making you do it with my left hand. I hate doing it. My left hand. Again, you're going to start with your thumb and do your little tiny fingers here. A little thumb massage all the way down the finger to the joint. Two passes each. And you have to support the hand, right? Mm-hmm. So it's hard for her to do it like this. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard to do that. Yeah. Okay, it's possible. Yeah, it's hard. So it's easier just to do this. Because you have a little gap right here. Mm -hmm. Just rest them in a little gap. Oh, yeah. I don't care if her finger curls up. That's what it's supposed to do. Okay, and then after that, you're going to do your thumb strokes all the way around the palm. And the wrist part, too. Well, that is the carpal area, so you want to go stay. Make sure you get in that carpal area. RNA out there, the one who didn't see this yesterday. Who cares? Just do the entire palm, the palm and, the wrist. and the carpal area because we are doing a carpal tunnel. The carpal and the metacarpal. It's the carpal area. Get used to saying carpal area. It's not the wrist. Carpal. Okay. Yes. And then once you get that done, you're going to do your little. Is it thumb strips? It was, I think, the pinching of the fingers. Where's the paper? No, Wasn't it? it? Who has the tunnel? Oh, Who has the paper? No, it's the other side. I think it's yeah, the tunnel. Yeah, that's the tunnel. You do the tunnels, channels first. And then you flip it into the channels again on the yeah. other side. I don't need no one else. I forget. Hmm. Under pressure with both thumbs, see if you can form. Um, okay. Yeah, under pressure with both thumbs, see if you can put them, yeah, all the way up side of hand. Girl, I'm always right. I knew what I was doing. So again, you're going to go hand up. Well, you don't have to do that. Oh. You know what? That's nice of Gordon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Count each channel, two passes each. Looks like finger at the finger. Uh-huh. So you don't now the next... For that one? Well, if you're doing thumb after thumb, it's kind of hard. Yeah. You're just going to go down the channel. And halfway up the arm. What does it mean when it says B? Not the part when it the says place your palm down, and then you're going to do these circular motions. Yeah. Oh, Sorry, I have a question. What does yeah. it mean when you when it says don't apply too much pressure on the cubital area or whatever? Cubital area? Yeah, yeah because, because you have a lot of nerves, just like the back of the knee. Good mind. I had a question. Who's there? Oh, damn. <laughs> After that, again, you're going to do this you panel. Do you have a question for you? Really? Yes. What you do to the back side, you do to the front side. So you work those channels. All the channels. All those little. Yeah. Right here? That's, yeah. Not, that's not normal. <laughs> we'll get to that later. <laughs> Not 
After that, you do your intertenor channels halfway up the arm, and then you begin this effleurage. And again, when you're doing your effleurage with your hands, this is pressure on both sides, and you get harder with the pressure each time. Then you transition from this to this. Back of the fingers? Back of the fingers. Then you're going to supinate Harrison's hand and you're going to do the same thing here. Again, getting stronger and stronger with each pass. Uh, yeah, her hand should be doing that because I am hitting those flexor tendons right there. You make your fingers flex. I love that. So cool. And then you transition to the back of the fingers. I don't pay attention to it because it kind of freaks me out. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I've been doing that since a kid. I used to hold my friend's hand and press them, and each finger moves depending on where you press. <laughs> Then you're going to go back here. And thumb strips from the carpal, carpal area to the cubital area. Oh, yeah, you can relax, you relax right your arm, though. You hear it? You can hear it. Listen. You hear that? Oh. That's the same thing I see. That's mine. Huh? Is that popping? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can hear it. Oh, yeah. That popping. Yeah. Right there. Popped up. I had that too. You got issues. Mm -hmm. What? And you work your way all the way down. <laughs> Again, I release my pressure when I get right to that area right there. I try to work the belly of the muscle. What do you think? <laughs> and then again, you do the same thing from cubital. <laughs> strips, thumb strips. All that of thumb strips. That feels good. You're gonna sleep late tonight, huh? One arm is gonna still one, 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 one good side. Yeah. I did mine backwards, but oh well. <laughs> oh well, Kari. And it says stay out of this region. That's that region, right? It says go easy when you get to that area. Oh. That's because this is like the back of the knee. Right. Exactly. There's a lot, the of, stuff nerves there. a lot of nerves. <laughs> Yeah, they hurt me. And you're going to get hurt like in a 90 degree, and you're going to perform exercise three. If I believe so. No, exercise one and two. Mm-hmm. Tired lady. You'd be dreaming about exercise. <laughs> <laughs> She'll wake up like, oh, damn it. <laughs> They move. And then patricize tail. One and two. She's going to be doing it in her sleep. I'm telling you. So everything we're doing is below the elbow. Yep. Then you're going to turn their arm on forearm, just degree. like this. 90 degree angle. They're going to keep them at a 90 degree angle. You're just going to make sure that their hand is sideline, and then you're going to perform petrosage 3 on the thumb. Don't be jealous, Grace. I am. I know you are. <laughs> Working this whole area of the thumb. That's what you had your problems right in there. Oh, yeah. If I would have done this to Grace, she'd have cried. Good tears. <laughs> you mean bad tears? <laughs> 
Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Make sure you cover that whole thanar area, the thumb area, also known as the thanar area. The what area? Thanar. Thanar. <laughs> That's my firstborn child's name, Thanar. I like that. <laughs> Hey, Nar, come here. What does mean, dog? <laughs> oh, that's messed up. I'm trying to say I'm dumb. Okay. That's my child. My child would not be dumb. When you perform your cross tissue correction, she would be spoiled. Yeah. She'd be smart, too. And again, you can do this stretching motion if you want. You have to do that. They have to do chemical. They could do the Indian burn. Oh, yeah. What the hell Indian burn? Let me show you. No. Is that when you slap someone and get those nose this? No. All this cross friction work. And then, as you're doing all that, you find all your trigger points. You work on them as you find them. That is what you're